that need to score runs here today. First delivery from Pollock, played nicely by Gilchrist. It's cut away, it'll be the first boundary of the match. Short and wide from Pollock, Gilchrist doesn't often miss those. And a no ball called, and that should be the next boundary. Good value for shot at Bloemfontein. Goodyear Park. That's pulled away. That'll go for four. Good shot. Driven down the ground. Kirsten can't cut it off. That'll go all the way. Just a little push. And the ball still runs quite quickly hitting the boundary board. It's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Not too much wrong with the ball though. And it has been dispatched quite easily for four. It's a good shot. Three extra cover. Not too much wrong with the delivery again. And that's four runs. That's a great shot. He's, he's just given that a bit of a... It's just a little bit too much width. He's been able to free his arms here. Extra balls as well. It's got him. Bit of movement off the deck, I think. Matty Hayden's having a cursory glance at the track as well. But Roger Tomarka has struck a thin edge. And Mark Boucher doesn't drop those. It's a good shot. Nice and relaxed in front of square on the offside. John T. Rhodes is the chaser, but he might as well give that one up. Four runs. The south field looks lightning quick. Uh, great. great shot. That is an outstanding stroke from Ricky Ponting. Didn't try to hit it too high. Just a little bit on the onside for four runs. Down the wicket, middle of the bat. And that goes all the way from Ricky Ponting. He's in good touch, that's for sure, and he's feeling confident. And he knows that the pitch is a good one. There's three fours. Got him. Roger Tullamark has struck again. Bang on target. And that is a big wicket. Gilchrist will be extremely disappointed with that strike, I think, once he sits in the change room and has a look at the replay. Sweeper on the offside. He's got some work to do. It's Andrew Hall. He's not going to get this one. That's a good start for Australia. A long hop from Nicky Boyer. Edge and slippers very wide. He's going to run away for four, so uh, that'll be a major frustration, I think, for. He's got that through for four. It wasn't too far away from Mark Boucher. He moved a long, long way to his right. And a frustrating over for Callis. 25 gone, 107 for two. Gone over the top as Ricky Ponding this time, and he's played that beautifully. That is a lovely shot, just short of the rope, four runs. Good use of the feet. Played this game before, Mark. <laughs> In the air for a while, and he's got it uh, between Nicky Beer and also Roger Telemark. I think that's going to run away again. There's three fielders converging, and none are going to get there. So oh, that's a good shot. That's through. That'll be four. Oh, he's bowled him. He's bowled him. Good bit of bowling that uh, from uh, Nicky Beer. Beautifully bowled. Nicky Boyer going on the sweep. And that's flicked away very, very fine. And uh, frustration for Pollock as it speeds away to the boundary. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Has he found the gap? He certainly has. There's two men back on that uh, leg side boundary. But perfectly, perfectly bisected. Oh, it's slashed away. <laughs> frustration again. That's very well fielded, down on the boundary there. Pulled away, well in front of square, and that'll beat everybody and go for four. Beautiful shot. Down the wicket, and that's a superb shot. And that will be one bounce ball. That's short, hooked away, top edge, and it'll run away for four. Well, you bowl short. Leg side again, that should run away for four. Well, the gamble's not paying off. Andrew Hall is not a frontline bowler. Outside edge, it'll run away. And that'll bring the hundred. Ricky Ponting goes to hundred, the first one against South Africa. Short from Callis. Punished by Ricky Ponting. Well, Pollock will have to hold on tight here. That's four. Boyer can't get around to cut it off. 
It was hit with tremendous power. 223 for three after 42. Whip this away on the leg side as uh, Lehman, he's got that away for four. Gee, he's not wasting any time whatsoever at the moment. That's a fine stroke. Whipped on the leg side again. It's good connection from Lehman. Two fielders are trying to get it. They might as well give up because that's another boundary. So that's another big over. He's hit that one very, very well in the air for some time. But uh, wide of Nicky BS, that's another boundary. Full toss and bunted back past the bowler and also the umpire and past the fieldsman straight. Four runs. Worked away leg side. Sean Pollock is uh, straight a little bit leg side first up and pays the penalty. Four more runs. That's a glorious strike though from Darren Lehman. Got him. Around the legs. Trying to run down the track and give himself a little bit of room to work again. Around the corner on the leg side. Lehman departs and Pollock strikes. It's leg side. There are cries of catch. Sean Pollock's getting underneath it. He should take this. He does. Straight drive. mccone has got some work to do here. He's very quick though. Oh, bad luck. Got to it. And the ball just uh, rolled up along his body, against his body. The momentum forced it. Harvey's got connection with that. He's hit it straight to the field though. Sweeping on the offside. So Sean Pollock picks up a belated wicket. So Harvey didn't last too long. Graham Smith has got a big smile on his face. He's the catch. Down the ground. It's well struck. There's a fieldsman getting there. Just inside the rope for four slower ball from Jacques Callas it is a good hit from Brett Lee and it's gone for six that is a terrific hit over long off for six what a way to finish the innings no wonder he's smiling the South African innings bang on target bit of movement back towards the left hander as well bottom edge and he's off the mark and they're away so they have to go with a boundary perhaps not exactly where he wanted to go though yeah. Nick first one gone healthy Nick from Gary Kirsten so Glenn McGrath has got him again so disappointment for Kirsten as he turns and walks towards the change room simple catch for Gilchrist that should be out and he is outside the off stump flashing it well caught at second slip McGrath strikes again that's cut away, it'll run away for four, that's a good shot. Ever so slightly wide, back of a length. That's pulled away powerfully. That's the shot I was meaning. 11th over. Callas down the wicket over extra cover. That'll bounce once and go away, twice into the boards. Top shot from Jock Callas, just what South Africa need now. And he repeats the Joes, just one short, one metre short of the boundary. Nicely played by Smith. That could run away for four. Catch. Cries of catch it, but uh, disappearing pretty quickly. Good timing from Graham Smith. The outfield, outfield is fairly quick now. And that's going to run away for four. That's a good shot. Slice that back with a square on the offside. That's going quickly. That's four runs. Good pace too. 153.1 k's per hour. Good shot. Very, very good shot indeed. That's good pace again from Brett Lee. Over 150 k's per hour. Got him. He's got that through. Gee, that's a good start after drinks break. Graham Smith, who has played some wonderful strokes. Yeah. Nice and solid from Neil McKenzie. That was a lovely sound out of the middle of the bat. Running away for four. McKenzie hasn't moved. Point four. Good shot of the leg side. Glenn McGrath's not going to be able to track that one down. The outfield is fairly quick. It's going to run away for four. That's a good start to the over. In the air, sliced away. And that'll run away for four. That's going to be close. Adam Gilchrist thinks he's got his man. There's only your banker ball, mid wicket. Well, mate, I think he's out. Yeah. Oh, he's got him. He's got him down the wicket and straight back at Darren Lehman. 
shot. Beautiful shot. And he's pierced the field. Miller will run away for four. At last, the boundary for South Africa. John D. Rhodes has stripped it away for four. That's just the start they needed after the drinks break. Tucked around the corner. Brings up his 50. Once again, he's consistent. Right on, Neil McKenzie. Teammates appreciating this knock. Gone for that. And it's a good hit. Very, very good hit, that one. And an important boundary. It's a good shot. It's a very good shot over extra cover. Just the one bounce and four runs. They needed that one. That's a fine strike from Neil McKenzie. It's a good shot. Two men have got some work to do. And four. Another boundary. That's a very good over. Got him. Metal stuff. So Brett Lee has struck. That's an important wicket. Neil McKenzie with fine leg up inside the circle. Just waltzed across and tried to tickle it around the corner. Got him. Straight through him. That's a very, very good delivery from Brett Lee. So two and two balls. They've gone up. The Australians have gone up and so has David Orchard. Sean Pollock wasn't going to walk, so it must have been uh, a faint tickle. He was going to make the umpire do the work. And Jason Gillespie back in the attack, and he's picked up a wicket. That's firmly struck. That'll be four. That's a wonderful shot from Nicky Boyer. And that's out. Bottom edge. Nicky Boyer's gone. And Brett Lee strikes again. That's swept by John T. Rhodes, and that's gone for four. That's it away, powerfully over extra cover, that'll go for four. Top shot, John T. Rhodes. Well played, my friend. That's a good shot. That's driven down the ground, that's four. That'll end the other with a four from McIntini. Is there another twist in the tail? 47 gone, 248 for eight. Slow delivery, that's bowled in. Jason Gillespie has done the job. Rhodes has a slot, it's gone high. Is it out? Yes it is, that is a wonderful catch. That ends it. 2.53 all out South Africa, 49th over. And Brett Lee picks up his fourth wicket.